All right, so today we're going to be going over how to get started with practice data for Splunk, where you can get it, and how to kind of upload it into your environment to start practicing with. So I've posted the link down below to Google Drive. You should all be able to access and download the Splunk practice data folder. Uh, once you have that, you can download it, uh, download this folder, extract it on the desktop. And then what you'll have is um, this folder called Dream Crusher. Inside Dream Crusher, you're going to have uh, WW1, 2, and 3, and some Cisco Ironport uh, web logs. Inside each of the hosts, you're going to have logs for access and secure. And we're just going to walk through how to kind of upload this into Splunk in a way that fits how this practice data was designed to work with. So um, before we get started uploading it, there are two apps if you don't already have them installed on your Splunk instance that you'll need uh, to make your source type ingestion a lot easier. And well, you should probably already have these on your box, but just in case you don't, uh, the add-on for the Unix Linux, uh, and the links will also be below in the description for, to download these, and the add-on for the Cisco um, WSA, and that's just your web security appliances uh, add-on that we'll use for the Cisco iron port logs. So, Going back uh, into our environment, let's start uploading it. So just go to settings, add data, and we're gonna upload. Select our file, and then again, uh, inside your extracted file, uh, we'll start with host one, and we'll start with the access logs. We're going to have all of these fall under the source type of access combined. And that is at the bottom. If you go to web, um, select your access combined. And these are just basically uh, the formatting for your HTTP, HTTP web server logs. Um, so for all of the access logs for each of the three hosts, this, these are the, this is the source type you should apply for that. Go ahead and click next. And then for the host value, um, because we're working with www1, let's label this, um, the same exact thing. You can call this host one, web one, um, anything, any kind of name that you'd like to um, organize. Just make sure it's the first one and you know what it's coming from. And because um, they are going into uh, obviously like web related data, uh, we'll create a new index and we'll call it web. And we're gonna put all of the um, access logs into this index of web, just to make our data a little bit more organized. Go ahead and submit. And then we'll add more data. Again, uploading, everything's gonna come from uh, this one file. Uh, since I'm still working with uh, W1, I'll go ahead and do the secure logs now. These are gonna be um, your basic Linux authentication logs. So there is uh, operating system uh, related to Linux, and we're going to select the Linux secure. Um, basically, any security related messages on a Linux machine um, fits this data type the best. So we'll go with Linux secure for all of these secure logs. Again, the same host, make sure you put the same value. Um, so I said I did www1 for the last one. And because this data doesn't really fall under web related data. Uh, I'm going to create another index and I'm going to call it um, security because they are logs related to security. Go ahead and click save and submit. And you're going to do this for each of your three hosts.
Now, for once you're done uploading all three of your hosts, uh, you're going to go into upload again, and this is where we're going to upload the um, Cisco Ironport logs. So again, backing out into the Dream Crusher, there's this one file left called Cisco Ironport Web. Go ahead and select that file to upload. And this is going to fall under um, Network and Security and the Cisco WSA Squid. Again, this is where your app, uh, where your add-on um, for the WSA comes into play. Um, basically, anything related to Cisco Web Security Appliances is going to fall under this source type um, for this file. So go ahead and select Cisco WSA Squid as the source type, and then um, host. Well, um, you can name it uh, any value. I'll just do uh, post box. Um, and then for an index, um, I'll probably, you can put it in any index really, but just because I want to know what it is, I'll just put it in an index called Cisco so I know where to look really quickly through my data to find the Cisco iron port logs. And there's only going to be one host value for that index. so relatively easy. Go ahead and submit that. And that's it. Uh, okay, so if we go ahead and search across all of those indexes, the three that we just created, um, we'll see under our host values, we have our uh, web one, web two, web three, and our host box, which contains our Cisco iron port logs. So if we search across all three indexes that we just created, you'll see that you'll now have about 200,000 events to work with, start practicing with. Um, there's a lot of good sample stuff to work in here based off of uh, these access logs. Um, there's a bunch of different action fields to track um, purchases or other events that have occurred on the web server. Um, you can do any kind of Splunk command with this practice data, um, practice making dashboards, charge, charts, visualizations, um, event data over time. Um, you got some HT method requests in there, user agents. Um, yeah, um, usernames. So a good uh, chunk of data to start practicing with. Hope this video was helpful. Again, look in the descriptions for where to grab the data and the two links for the add-ons.